I get horny for photos of burgers. Yeah, dude. Chicago, Illinois, how's it going? That right there, that's Corey Wagner, I'm Sean Ely. Today, a legend in the game. One of the burgers that kind of brought the Chicago burger game onto the map itself, Aw Cheval, in the West Loop. We have not done it yet on Eat Local. We've done it for number six with cheese years ago. We wanna get this video on the channel and review it now in 2024. So an iconic burger, we'll see how it is to go in 2024. And then today, to shout out our Patreon so you guys can continue to help this series each and every month patreon.com forward slash eat local you sign up we get a little kickback every single month so we can keep doing this show so everybody that does that your names are listed on screen in the videos we love you for it all right down down to the west loop for us let's freaking go Hog salt. Yeah, it's the restaurant group. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hog salt. Beefy boys, too. All right, you guys, you're on the dashboard. I know what you want. You want the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Wow, that bacon never ceases to amaze me. So, double patty, uh, Dijonese, pickles, onions, and then this famous bacon. $8 to add this bacon, and you're probably seeing why. Look how thick that is. This is the most immaculate bacon you can get in the city. So the sauce is great, everything they do with it is great, but it's really the bacon that takes us over the edge. This is also one of those burgers that people travel to Chicago for. Yeah, like this, it's, is... this books flights. We're booking flights. Real quick on the big camera, because we got it, look at that bulbous bacon. Oh yeah, dude, that's mine. Also looking phenomenal, look at that cheese. Good cheese melt, big bacon. You know, even if you don't like our personalities, you gotta admit, that was a pretty good uh, cinematography of the burger. Now, I'm not a man who's good with words. Okay, here we go. Oshaval, West Loop, the iconic. It's a single, but it's a double cheeseburger. Cheers. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. That bacon, it's one of the few times like I actually get the bacon flavor. My bacon is as thick as the patties. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh man, this, the way they season. A I was gonna say, it's got a little sweetness to mm -hmm. it. Have you ever had mm. the fried mm. bologna sandwich at Oshaval? Never have. Amazing. So good. Really? Because I get it. Fried bologna sandwich from a place that serves a great burger. Not something you're probably gonna get instead. No, it sounds crazy. But it is damn good. Mmm. It's still so good. It's so good. I do wish it was like, I wish they put this bacon on Loyalist. I really do think that this, I just got done saying this is a good burger and it's not that average. I think without this bacon, this is kind of, it's not the best burger. I've got a donation I now want people to do. The, the verses? No. Okay. I want to get the Loyalist. Mm. And I want to get get a few orders of the side of bacon and put it on the Loyalist burger. That would be amazing. <laughs> The Someone will have to donate. The bacon. They'd have to donate over a hundred dollars because these two burgers out the door were almost sixty. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so single cheeseburger, seventeen ninety nine. You add the bacon for seven ninety five, and it becomes twenty five ninety four before tax. I got some hot takes on this. Let me hear. I was it. sucking it off and I was looking at it. I think it's a better visual burger. Yeah. Than it is a flavored burger. It and I don't insane. think that this is this isn't in my top five. I don't think. And now, granted. I am a, a smash burger stan. Uh huh. So just know that I'm a smash burger guy to the bone. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite style. It's like if I'm ranking pizzas against all the other pizzas, all my top fives are gonna be like kind of destroyed sandwich, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Or like Eugenio's. Yeah, I just I just try to bite without bacon. It's not bad. And where there's a lot of sauce, I'm really digging it. Yeah. I don't have a ton of sauce everywhere. I, and even where there's a lot of sauce, I'm like, I don't know if this is a top five burger without the bacon. One of my only gripes about Au Cheval, other than the price, is the lack of sauce. Mm -hmm. The burger can get a little dry. It, they do use good beef, obviously. But I think like, it is like, I mean, there's, there's no, it's not sloppy at all. Sometimes I want a little something. Yeah. This is like, this is, you could, I could fling this. 
And another qualifier, just so people don't kind of attack me. We are so spoiled in Chicago. Any other city, this is the best burger in the city. 100%. I don't know, man. I think there's just so many great burgers in the city, I kind of am like stuck up. I'm kind of snobby about burgers. Well, you've been doing this so long, you've tried so many great ones. We talk about this all the time. Chicago is a burger city. Mm -hmm. We talk about Italian beefs, we talk about hot dogs, we talk about pizza, sure, whatever. The burger scene here, top to bottom, unbeaten. Yeah, Chicago is a burger city. We're a little bit snobby about it. Mm -hmm. This is still a great burger. The bacon is still like, it's still like a, a, one of the wonders of the world. It, yeah, I like that. I'm still proud, like happy to have it. I'm proud it's in my city. Same. But if I'm being dead honest about like, close my eyes, I'm not looking at the bacon, pure flavor. Like I take that bite, all the flavors are happening in my mouth. Top 10. Yeah. Probably. I think it's right. I think it's like the 9 10 slot. I think it's in the 9 10 11 slot. Could be out, could be in. Yeah. But it's not top five. I, I have to agree with you because there's so many other ones that jump to my mind that I'm like more excited to eat. Yeah. Oh boy, that was tasty though. I'm glad. I like what you said. Like, I'm just glad that burger's in this city. Yeah. That is like a staple of the Chicago culinary scene. And I think all Cheval reps the city well. All right, guys, make sure you like the video and also uh, subscribe. Yeah. And then as long as you're doing that, just go ahead and hit that uh, bell button too. And then we're gonna ask you guys a question so we can hang out down in the comment section. <laughs> I was so distracted. <laughs> they probably were too. They're like, what Smacking is Smacking everything in the car. <laughs> so question for you guys, what's your favorite thing to put bacon on? Mm. I love that question. That was a Sean question. That's a really good, I like that. Because there's some food, I love bacon, but there's some foods I get annoyed just because it's, oh, bacon, put on it. Bacon doesn't need to go on everything. Mm -hmm. What's your okay. favorite though? I'm excited oh, about that. Man, I got a couple goodies. All right. Okay, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to go ahead and rate that out of 100, the new Eat Local score. Um, we do it like grade school style, like 90, 90 to 100, 80 to 90, you get it. Uh, we're going to do it that way, rate it out of 100. Can I get an Alex Trebek song? <sighs> that is the song right there. All right, out of 100, um, 20. Six and a half, tw almost twenty-seven dollars. All right, what do you give it? I feel good about this score. I feel really good about this score. Cut off the music. We don't need it. Uh, gonna, these guys are gonna. I'm gonna dunk in this. I'm about to go way lower. Okay. I just George off them. They don't even know. Dude. I think you're gonna go. I'm, I think you're gonna say ninety-seven. All right, one, two, three. Nailed Bam! It. Did you see it? No, nope. totally got Nailed it. I, that was just what I thought. Yeah, I think that's like for everything that I was saying. Like that's a must-try burger. You have to get it. It's legendary. Yeah. And it's really good. Don't go to the Bean. Go to Oshawa. Yeah, no kidding. I actually, go to both. I do actually really love the Bean. I know, but I'm if you, if you gotta pick too. one, I'm gonna go food over looking at a Bean. Yeah, I'm an art nerd. I'd go bean. Yeah, I always forget it's art and not just an Instagram backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> but some can be both. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna get out of here. Ashaval, once again, nice job. Now you're on both of our channels. How fun is that? Yes. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. We'll see you guys soon. As always, if you want to donate to the show and there's something in Chicago you want to see us eat, we're gonna do it. The Venmo, the PayPal, super thanks, all that stuff. Thank you for the support. Heroes. We've been doing it longer than so many of these clowns. <laughs> I'm not actually mean. <laughs> all right, bye. <laughs> Real quick, big camera, big bacon, bitch. Uh, look I'm gonna do that again, so I don't have to use the quack. A bitch isn't a swear word. Yes, it is. We got kids who watch this. They don't even bleep that out on the TV anymore. I bet they did if it was on Barney. <laughs>